Summer break is over for some St. Cloud State Huskies who returned to campus today, but this school year students will have fewer classes to choose from. The school is dealing with budget shortfalls after enrollment continues to drop. Jennifer Hoff tells us how the school is moving forward. It's that time of year when students go back to school, but at St. Cloud State University, the door is closing on more of its departments, including theater. It's hard to see it go. One Hannah Ryder graduated from last spring. It wasn't really until my second year there that there was talk of the department closing down. Falling enrollment is to blame. Some 6,000 students in the last decade alone, leading to a $24 million budget deficit. We first reported on three months ago, forcing the university to drop dozens of degree programs and professors then and now announcing another 19 faculty positions will be eliminated this year. It is really frustrating to watch them continuously cut back and cut back on the on the very things that bring students to college. Jenna Ternega heads the union that represents teachers at all seven of the state schools. What is happening is a very short-sighted approach to solving budget issues. Um, it does not look Look far into the future and instead it is very focused on just you know right now. She says the latest round of staffing cuts affects 15 departments. The school still calling it a proposal and due to contracts can't be more specific, saying it is a difficult decision. I wish it were different. From religious studies to philosophy and theater, departments are disappearing, a place that for Ryder was more than just a college campus. It's hard to see a place that I called home, you know, disappear. The department did confirm that it will be performing a musical this semester and the few students who are still left in the program will be able to graduate in the spring. At St. Cloud State, Jennifer Hoff, Carol 11 News. Well, the school says it is offering early retirement options while state officials would only say they're using a variety of strategies to ensure St. Cloud's long-term financial sustainability. 